Obtaining a personal loan after a bankruptcy. Well, it depends on the type of bankruptcy that you had. Uh, you could have had a Chapter 7, uh, which is a complete wipeout, or a Chapter 13. Uh, actually, it's easier to do it after a Chapter 7, which is a complete wipeout. Uh, the bankruptcy laws were recently revised, uh, and uh, it, it's made it more difficult uh, in many respects for people to do a bankruptcy, uh, but, and, and it's held more accountability for those that do a bankruptcy. Uh, but when you go to do a loan, uh, they're going to look and see, well, okay, what are the chances that this person uh, is going to pay us? Uh, and so your ability to pay, uh, and of course, if you've done a complete wipeout, uh, then you don't have any debts. Uh, maybe you've reaffirmed your home and you've got the home mortgage uh, and a car, and that's all you've got. So maybe you're in a better position to pay them back than when you had uh, a $1,000 or $2,000 worth of uh, uh, credit cards and so on and so forth they're reading your lunch. Uh, and so uh, you go down, you talk to them, you explain what went on uh, and uh, you know typically you can uh, do this on the phone, you don't have to go in person and ask them if they are uh, giving out lines of credit, you just had a bankruptcy, uh, you'll be obligated to provide the uh, uh, initial uh, court documents of when you filed the bankruptcy and also the uh, the final discharge papers when the bankruptcy was over with. But uh, we do mortgage loans for people that are two years out of bankruptcy all the time. Uh, obviously you want to reestablish your credit. Uh, there's some steps for doing that. Uh, and uh, part of that whole thing is, uh, you know, if you have to, you can even put some money in the bank and uh, get what you call a secured loan where you've got $10,000 in the bank or $500 in the bank and you get a $500 loan just to prove that you can pay. That's the reason why people uh, loan you money or don't loan your money based on your credit score, which is the record of how faithful you've been in paying your, your bills. And so, uh, uh, again, if you had a medical bankruptcy where everything was going along great, and then all of a sudden uh, they had these big medical bills and you fell off the cliff, uh, we'll look at your credit report, and the bank will look at your credit report, and they can see if you are a, quote, uh, repeat offender or if, or if you had a, a, a significant life event that caused the bankruptcy and all of this makes a difference to them.